He lasted just 11 days on the job. Anthony Scaramucci, who was hired by the president as communications director to help restore order to the West Wing. He's now been ordered out, pushed out. Anthony Scaramucci, who calls himself the Mooch, was there just this morning as a new chief of staff was sworn in. General John Kelly now running the West Wing. And how does the White House explain the Mooch and his limited run? ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega leading us off. It was one of the fastest, crudest flameouts in West Wing history. Communications director Anthony Scaramucci, known simply as the Mooch, forced out after just 11 days on the job. The new White House chief of staff, John Kelly, pushing for his departure. Scaramucci, a wealthy Wall Street financier, handpicked by the president and his family, cast himself from the start as a personal friend of the commander in chief. I love the president. I obviously love the country. But from day one, there was bad blood between Scaramucci and former chief of staff Reince Priebus. Uh, we are a little bit like brothers where we rough each other up once in a while, which is totally normal for brothers. It only got worse. Some brothers are like Cain and Abel. Other brothers can fight with each other and, and get along. I don't know if this is repairable or not. That will be up to the president. But then Scaramucci redefined what it means to go off message. The communications director calling up a reporter and launching into a tirade, calling Priebus a paranoid schizophrenic, threatening to fire essentially the entire White House communications team over leaks, saying they'll all be fired by me. And I fired one guy the other day. I have three to four people I'll fire tomorrow. He also tore into the president's chief strategist, Steve Bannon. I'm not Steve Bannon, he said, launching into an attack so profane we can't repeat it on television. He said, I'm not trying to build my own brand. The White House today said the president, who's used some choice words himself in the past, was none too happy about Scaramucci's comments. The president certainly felt uh, that Anthony's comments were inappropriate for a person in that position. The communications director had become the story, his words going viral, his gestures mirroring the president's mocked on The Daily Show. He's made a point of saying he reported only to the president. This morning, following the swearing in of the new chief of staff, Scaramucci was in the back of the room. I predict that uh, General Kelly will go down in terms of the position of chief of staff, one of the great ever. And today, the White House issuing a stunning shift in the chain of command. Everyone, including the president's own daughter and son-in-law, report to John Kelly. General Kelly has the full authority um, to operate within the White House, and all staff will report to him. So let's get to Cecilia Vega live at the White House tonight. And Cecilia, I want to show everyone at home that image from today, the president presiding over a cabinet meeting. Attorney General Jeff Sessions sitting right across the table from him. Of course, the president has been relentless in his very public criticism of Sessions. As you know, Cecilia, there had been talk of possibly moving Jeff Sessions from AG over the Department of Homeland Security, where General Kelly has just left the post. You were there at the White House. They were pressed on this. Press Secretary Sanders, Sarah Sanders was, David, and she said that they have no announcement about that and that, quote, the president has 100 percent confidence in his cabinet. That sounded very much like a vote of confidence for Jeff Sessions. But despite all of the drama here today, David, the president seems very pleased. He just tweeted calling this a great day at the White House. David. Cecilia Vega leading us off. Cecilia, great to have you.